Hey beauties, in today's video I'll be sharing my updated curly hair routine to show you how I get my big voluminous curly fro which has been my go-to look since I cut and dyed my hair. So I'm starting off with the Olaplex number 3 treatment. So this is a hair treatment that helps strengthen your hair to reduce breakage and damage. So if you have damaged hair, this product would be perfect for you to incorporate into your routine. And I apologize if I sound a little stuffy you guys, I am a little bit sick. But think of the Olaplex number 3 treatment as a protein treatment, except the product doesn't contain any protein. So it is is also a great treatment for those of you who have protein sensitive hair so this has pretty much been the only thing I've changed or added into my routine since dyeing my hair I'm still washing my hair once a week deep conditioning once a week except I'm adding the Olaplex treatment prior to that so I use this before wash day by applying it to damp hair and letting it sit for at least 20 minutes so after 20 minutes have passed, I've rinsed my hair and depending on how tangled my hair is, which I'm not gonna lie y'all, it usually gets pretty tangled since I don't really brush it during the week, I use my all-time favorite detangler which is the Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder to help speed up my detangling session. Seriously you guys, nothing compares to the slip from this product. I can easily detangle my hair with my fingers in minutes with this thing. Now, once I finish detangling, I apply the Diva Curl Decadence No Poo without rinsing off the detangler to cleanse my hair. So I know there's kind of been a lot of concern and talk about Diva Curl products causing hair loss and damage, but from my experience, I haven't had any issues from using their products. You can see the amount of shed hair I had was very minimal. Now, no, this is not a sponsored video, you guys. I'm not getting paid to come on here and say this. I'm just speaking from my experience. Granted, everybody is different, but I can only speak on my experience with the products which like i said has never been negative and i'm sharing my updated routine because these are just generally the products i've been using frequently After rinsing off no poo, I apply the Diva Curl Melt into Moisture Mask to deep condition my hair and just let that sit in my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes while I finish washing up, then I just rinse it off. So I'll either take my Demon brush and brush my hair while I have the deep conditioner in, then rinse or afterwards just to fully ensure my hair is all the way detangled since I did just kind of finish scrunching it up during the cleansing process. But after I brush it out, I actually apply the styling product in the shower on soaking wet hair. So today I'm using super cream so I pretty much just take a couple pumps of the product and rake it through my hair with my fingers. Since I'm going for more of a curly fluffy fro look, I don't use a Demon brush after applying the product so my curls aren't as defined fine and clumped together as they typically are with my other curly hair routines that you've seen so i also don't apply as much product as i typically do because y'all know y'all know i'm known for using a lot of product y'all but i found that this technique just gives me the ultra lightweight voluminous curls that i'm looking for and i just absolutely love this look So after I apply the product throughout my hair, I scrunch and wrap it in a microfiber towel and I'll either just let it sit in the towel until I finish doing my makeup or right after getting dressed. Then I'll take a little bit more of the product I use and just apply it on the top of my hair to lay down any frizzies I may have gotten from wrapping it up in the towel.
So I'll either let my hair air dry completely before fluffing it to get more volume, or if I'm in a rush, I'll diffuse my hair on a medium to high heat setting, alternating with the cold shot button so it can dry quicker. Comment below and let me know if you prefer to air dry or diffuse. Once my hair is fully dry, I'll take a little bit of high shine oil and just run my hands over my hair to stretch and fluff my curls out and just kind of shake them up a bit at the roots until I get my desired volume. But this has pretty much been my go-to look for the past couple of months. I'll switch it up with the side part here and there, but I've just about turned into a wash and go gal, you guys, because I'm telling y'all, this curly fro definitely be turning head, sis. If I ever want a more defined look, I'll just apply more product and use my Demon brush like you've seen in a lot of my previous wash and go videos. But comment below and let me know if you're here for this more natural fro look as opposed to my typical super defined washing goes. Now since it is love week, let me show y'all some love by doing a little giveaway for you beauties for Valentine's Day. So if you want to enter for a chance to win some of my Diva Curl favorites that I use in this video plus more, be sure to check out the description box for all the details on how to enter for a chance to win. Let me know what you think of this curly hair routine and let me know if you prefer definition or volume for your wash and goes. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see and good luck on the giveaway. And like always, thank you beauty so much for watching. And y'all, let me just say, y'all don't know how much I struggle doing this voiceover. I can't talk. I can't coughing up a lung, but I'm glad I got through it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.